Hello all. Um, just want to introduce myself. My name is Donnie. I am a musician and a guitar teacher. I've been teaching for approximately almost 16 years and I've been playing a lot longer, professionally probably 25. Um, this is coming, this review is actually coming from the perspective of a giving, gigging musician and I wanted to dispel some some questions or concerns about these two models. I've got myself a Epiphone uh, inspired by Gibson Hummingbird and an Epiphone inspired by Gibson J200. Um, a lot of people when they hear Epiphone, they tend to put their nose up to it and say, oh, that's junk. And, and for the most part, some of the, in the past it has been. But I guess in the past two, three years, Gibson has got it to the point where they're actually making a higher quality Epiphone. And these two right here are perfect examples. Now, mind you, with anything that's under a thousand dollars, where you look at the J two hundred, this is about uh, nine hundred nine ninety nine, and the Hummingbird is about eight fifty. Compared to their counterparts, or I think this one goes for five thousand, and this one goes for around four thousand. That's just a that's just a ballpark. Um, you're looking for something that's if you're a gigging musician, you're I'm a family man. I'm also a, a dad. Um, I'm not in the market to spend five grand. I'm not in the market to spend four grand. And I'm in the market to basically find a guitar that I want to perform and I want to ha enjoy the guitar. So let's take a look at them. So what you have here is the J200. This is a 2022 model. A couple of things that you're going to notice, and this is the gigging musician out of me. A um, couple of things that I always do when I ch when I get my guitars, and this is just me. I change the strings. Some may people may like them, but I love elixir strings, so I always change those out. And then I also change the tuners out to Grover. That's just my preference. You you can use the Epiphone Deluxe uh, Cl Clusen type tuners that are on there. You can upgrade them to the Gibson. You can upgrade them to a lot of other different things. One thing you have to remember is that if you do that, you're going to have to make the holes a little bit bigger. But I like these just for tuning uh, for tuning stability and, and just peace of mind. I, I enjoy that. The other thing that I tend to do is I tend to change out the bridge pins. And even though they say that they're bone, um, I, I have uh, the two guitars that I have, they, they felt like plastic. So these are special bone that actually came, not really special bone, but just bone bridge pins that came from a company called Mari's Music. They have excellent, excellent bridge pins, different types of sizes, different type of material. They have um, not only just bone, but they also have different types of bone and, you know, uh, different types of material. But I prefer that, okay? And you can see it's a Sitka spruce top. It's, it is a solid spruce top. It is, I believe, a mahogany back and side. It's a beautiful back and side, and it's a mahogany neck. Okay, pretty much exactly like a Gibson to a certain extent. Obviously, it doesn't have the 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 bridge that is 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 on the Gibson. But to be honest with you, performing with this thing, I just love. <laughs> I have no problems with this guitar. Now, the guitar doesn't come with a case. I use, because I'm a gigging musician, I use mono cases. So I keep this in a humidified room. And when I go out to gig or uh, or teach, depending on what I'm doing, I use the mono cases because they're easy to transport and they're more protective. They do make a specific um, case for them. You can get one from Epiphone. You can also get one from, you can get them from Gator. You can get them from SKB, I believe it is. And they're great cases. But I will tell you, this for bang for buck is probably one of the best guitars that I've ever played. And so we've got this one here, the J200. Now this one here is my Hummingbird. Or yes, my Hummingbird. And so again, if you notice, it is a Sitka Spruce Top. 
It is more of a matted feel, but I actually like it. I feel like I have a little bit more weight on this. I, I had a uh, I had a hummingbird many years ago and I felt like it was so light. Now with this one, it's a maple back and side with a maple neck. Okay, so if you notice the changes that I did with these, I put solid Grover tuners on them. It does come with an, a bone nut. Both of them guitars come with a bone nut. Comes with a bone saddle. And what I did with this one, because when I amplify it, it tends to have a very, very low end feel. So what I, I did on this one, this, this, these come from a company called floydupgrade.com. It's fu.com. And they make these titanium and they also make brass um, bridge pins. And what I love about these titaniums is they really balance out the lows because with this one right here, very much, you know, just a, a dreadnought and super big and super loud has the Sonicor pickups. Both of them have Sonicor pickups, but super loud. And I have to really tame that sound through equalization from my uh, system. Uh, but I love... Um, I have to really tame my EQ with the with these and with most a lot of guitars that I've had. My number one actually, and it's in the closet. My apologies, I don't you can't really tell, but we we just moved into this house. Um, is a, a Martin D28, but I've come to the notion with that guitar that that's going to go to my daughter whenever I pass, and I want to make sure and take care of it because a few weeks ago, actually it's been about two months ago. I had a student who almost fell out of his chair trying to stand up and his guitar hit my the top of my Martin and it wasn't a crack, but it was a scratch and a dent. And I realized that I needed to do something about it. So I decided to get my Hummingbird. And I loved this one so much, especially during Christmas gigs um, and solo gigs that I do because I have a band and I also do some solo stuff that I decided to get the J200 because my only complaint about J200s, and this is me, everybody is different. Uh, the J200 um, Gibson are so finicky. You don't know what you're going to get from one guitar to the next. And so I've always noticed that I've had problems with playing one and it's super thin the way that it feels and sounds. And the one that's just huge and big sound. And I just decided I really am at this point where... My wife and I are thinking about our daughter's graduation here in the next few years in college, and I can't go out and spend five thousand dollars. So I did. I feel like I did the next best thing. So that if you have any questions, please leave me a me, you know a, a response or a message or something. But like I said, you cannot go wrong with these Gibson inspired. Remember, they're the Gibson inspired Epiphone models. They make a ton of different models. They not only have these two, they also have the, the, the J2, not the J200, the J45. Um, they have electric guitar versions of it, the Explorer, um, and they're amazing. So check them out. You know, you ever, you're ever in one of the local guitar stores that carries Epiphone and Gibson, check out the Epiphone Inspired. I think you'll be very surprised.